Hey, everybody. Uh, I got a new game. It's called Ghostist. Came out today. Five dollars. It's a pixel horror game. I literally just booted it up and they don't give you a main menu. They just slap you right in here. Pixel horror games are so rare. How do I... Space bar. Um, pixel horror games are so rare that I had to give it a try. Every review that I saw for this game mentioned phasmophobia because it really uh, apparently like you're supposed to track down and, and locate or or identify types of ghosts but it's a little pixel environment funnel ghost how many ghosts are there one two three four five six seven eight nine so there are nine ghosts caution <laughs> ghost in next room well there we go why don't we have signs everywhere that just tell us can i push stuff no Press space to open doors. There's a ghost in this next room, you see? Oh, I see a ghost orb. Okay, hold on. I've done this before. Uh, orbs. It might be a funnel ghost. Those little flying things are called orbs. Got it. Uh, okay, I, I guess maybe we can't identify it right now. Was it aggressive? No ghost. I don't think a material lamp manipulator didn't seem like it. Audible steps. I guess it's a funnel ghost. I don't know. That's it. Let's go. Let's go hop into a real game. Leave. Location bonus. Oh, it was a funnel ghost. I didn't guess that. I just put that was the only. We got 159 bubbles. Spray away. Repel them all. Salt. Hated by ghosts. Radio. Keep on rocking. Um, so there's already more more maps than uh, <laughs> in Phasmophobia. But obviously, because, you know. These are pixel-based map, it's easier to make them. Um, we'll probably choose a, a flat. What else can I do in here? So this is where all the ghost hunters would hang out if this game had multiplayer. Did we just turn on the... I don't... We're just gonna leave that on. I'm sure it won't be bad to leave the oven on when we leave the studio. Let's go, uh, let's go start it. Let's go start a mission. Oh, I see they block it off. Okay. All right, well, let's start. I don't know, uh, I'm not really sure the procedure. I found a bone. Does that do anything? I assume that we're gonna be murdered at some point. And so that should be interesting to see kind of like how the ghost murder happens. Oh, got some beeps. Wait, it was messing with my flashlight. Oh, it's red. It's all beepy deeps. Whoa, 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 I hear, hold on, I hear footsteps? Am I about to die? Why is it not, why is it not telling me anything? I, I know I have red EMF, I know it's doing that. Lamp identification chart. That's exactly what I just heard. It's, it's like absolutely a poltergeist. But why can I not mark it down on my... Experience. What? Experience. That's so cool! It's talking on my radio! My other side. What? Other side? That's so cool! Same time. Oh god! I hate that! That's so so Okay, I gotta I gotta turn that off because it's really spooky. It's super spooky! I got another bone. I think we correctly identified. Do they eventually just kill you? Conway. That's way, way, way spookier. Same time. In your mind. That is so much spookier than the other spirit box. So we identified, I don't know, maybe there are four pieces of evidence? Hold on, I need to, we got it right. So we got 129. And then we got location bonus of 20. Maybe that was bones. Did we pick up four bones? It's possible. Yeah. All right, we did the flat. Let's do the store. Let's do the store. All right, we're in the spooky store. I can definitely tell you that these little footstep sounds are gonna get annoying. Uh, you definitely did not need to include your feet making loud noises wherever you go. There's that picture of uh, Ju Julie Andrews. The hills are alive. 
Apparently they have uh, one painting in this game, and everyone has it. That's a photo of an Easter basket, I guess. Oh, it's probably in the kitchen. Oh, there we go, it's in the kitchen. What was that noise? Wait, there's a shadow right there. I hear footsteps. That was spooky. What was that noise? Oh, did it just slam the door on me? Fuck you, ghost. Try that shit again. Do it again, I dare you. All right, audible steps. We had a shadow. Oh, it's a shadow, people. I'm not actually really doing any investigation. All I'm kind of doing is waiting. And so again, my... Why is there a toilet in the corner of your kitchen? I think it just may be shadow people. Let's just try that, I, I guess. My guess is that it's just a shadow person because, well, let me check my, let me check my... There, uh, turn on all the lights, flashlight, you'll recognize them by their shadows and audible steps. Well, actually that phantom? Confused with shadow people, but you won't hear them walking. Okay, so I, I do think this ghost is a shadow person because the, uh, the other ghost that it said could do that, yeah, was, uh, it said that you wouldn't hear their steps. We're back at the base. Let's try the studio. We're just kind of breezing through this. So far, it's not a big deal. EMF reader. Whoa. Oh, that's, is that freezing? Was that a cold spot? I think that was a cold spot. Why, by the way, like why have bones? Whoa. Why does, that feels bad. Should I be running away? Is that gonna kill me? Am I dying? Whoa! I... We died. I got killed by a wraith? So, the ghost was on top of us? The ghost was on top of us. Did I lose a ton of money? Shit, what? What? So the heartbeat, the heartbeat seems to indicate that maybe the ghost is gonna attack. Oh wait, we're, we're whoa, 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 we shot attacked. I used the med kit. I used the med kit. Okay, it freezes you in place. So you're still gonna die. Okay, when you hear the heartbeat, that's when you need to get moving. So we had red EMF, we had cold spots, and we had shadows. Also, it was definitely aggressive. Really? Okay, I think I hear... Other side. Yeah, okay, so I hear the EMF. The ghost is definitely in here. I'm not really sh... I hear audible steps! Hold on. Hold, hold on. Hold on. We had spirit box, and I hear audible steps. And there's cold spots. It was even material, or I guess, was it not EM, no red EMF, but it is aggressive. Oh, it's a demon. Boom, we solved it. So I think aggressive is being attacked right away. How do I get out of here? We're done. It was a demon. So one thing that I'm definitely noticing, these go so quickly. These go so fast. It's like there's not even... Like, first aid is great. Exorcism, fear faster. I guess I'll just keep waiting. Let's do the mansion. My one negative is just how quickly these missions seem to be going. It's like as soon as we find the area, you just spend, you know... I don't know, a minute, maybe less in that area, and then you're you're done, you're good. You really just walk around until you find the room and it's pretty much instant. You'll know the room as soon as you get in it. So that, you know, that is gone. In Phasmophobia, you really have to do investigation. So there, we've done it, we have cold spots. Um, 
And here it's like as soon as you find the room, like it makes it pretty obvious fairly quickly what kind of ghost it is. Like the last mission, after I was in there, it was like, I don't know, just a couple seconds. So this is lamp manipulation, cold spots. Let's turn this, whoa, materialized, I see it. Audible footsteps, lamp manipulation, audible steps, materialize, lamp manipulator, and cold spots. It's a house. And so you see, like as soon as I found the room, that took probably less than 30 seconds. As soon as we found it, that was it. We were, we were, we were done. There's a lot that works in this game, but I'm starting to feel like there's not going to be a lot of, a lot of reason to be playing this. We did the mansion. Let's do the hotel, I guess. Also, the other issue is without having multiplayer, this game is, is not going to survive long. Um, and there's like, there's, See, okay, we, is it this room? Or is it just the hallway? I also like how it's super obvious when the music loops, that kind of, uh, that kind of spooky background ambient noise. It like cuts and hard restarts. You can hear it. You can really hear it. You spend so little time trying to actually find the type of ghost that multiplayer would, would just be a joke, I think. And so that may be one of the reasons why they didn't do it. But I also think that this developer is just really trying to cash in on the phasmophobia popularity. Making a game, you know, oh, it's not phasmophobia, it's a different style. But again, this game really lacks so many qualities of what made phasmophobia good the whole working towards like a, a type of some kind of progression you know because right now it doesn't seem like there's much progression i bought the radio that was kind of the most expensive thing yeah it's still here kind of so i think we did it i think the moment that we heard i just realized the moment that we heard footsteps and a shadow I think that was our cue that we're actually done. It's shadow people and there's no reason to continue because the other one that does that, like the, uh, I'm not sure the phantom maybe, uh, you wouldn't hear footsteps. And so that's not, that's not an option. So actually I think that as soon as we had found the, wait, how do you get out of here? I think this, the second that we had found the ghost up in that hallway and we saw the shadow and we had those footsteps. I think that was our cue to leave. Um, how do I get out of the hotel? Is it this way? Yeah, it was shadow people. So here's one of the things that I was talking about. In the buy menu, glow sticks seem to only be for seeing shadow people, but our flashlight does that. Spray away, I guess will will help you survive, but if I just hadn't stood perfectly still, I'd have been fine. The ghost was super obvious. Salt, hated by ghosts. I don't know why you would want to keep ghosts away. You're trying to figure out what kind of ghost it is. Smoke bomb spots ghosts, but so does our flashlight. And I've never had an issue with seeing ghosts. Coffee, fear faster. I don't know what that means. I'll buy some. Exorcism kit, hunt back. Let's try it. First aid. And that's it. There's there's not even anything that I'm trying to work towards. That That's my big issue, is that there's nothing for me to work towards. So I don't, select the ghost. Select the ghost you think it is. I don't know what that means, but it has little pictures of bones. So I'm assuming I need to collect. Yeah, I have one bone. Oh my God. We're so fast. Wait, this like ups our speed tremendously. Oh wait, and it's and it's done. So I guess you need three bones to power the exorcism kit. Runs on bones. Oh, okay, so we have a spirit. 
Wait, we have a spirit and I have audible footsteps. Audible steps, shadow. It's a it's a shadow person. Select the ghost you think it is. I yeah. I did. It's a shadow person. How else? Whoa, draw the correct symbols? Close to the ghost. Oh wait. Place the first bone? How do you place the second bone? How? How am I doing this? Is it space? Right click. Place the third bone. Try the exorcism. What is... Did that work? Draw the correct symbols close to the... Did that not work? Place the first bone. Bone, bone, bone! Do I have to do this like a bunch of times? I'm confused. Am I not doing this right? Game, I wish you would explain yourself better. They always get placed in the same place. Can I not exercise the ghost? Boom, 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 boom. Oh. Something different happened. Wait, were the bones doing that automatically? I think that means we did it. I think we exercised it. Way to go us! I still have my ex, okay. So you can exercise a ghost after you know what it is. Oh God, I found it. There it is, it just materialized. Where's my spray away? Spray. I sprayed him! Did that do anything for me? So my lamp is flashing. I do think it might be aggressive. Oh, it's... Oh, yeah. Okay, that was spooky. That was super spooky, you know? That was neat. So we got spirit box. And we got lamp manipulator and aggressive. It's a devil. Oh, we're about to exercise this bitch. Boom! Do it! Wait, I can't... It's like I... Oh, I can't do the exorcism. I can't do the exorcism in the hallway. That's why. It's in here. Boom, boom. Oh, get fucking exercised, you dickhead! Not anymore, not in my goddamn house! Exercised. Um, so I guess all you gotta do is once you know the ghost, you just run in there and click really fast. I heard like a, what is that tap? Um, so we got 400 and, oh wait, exorcism. It was a devil. Wait, why did it? Oh, wait, no, I'm super confused. So is the exorcism just worth exactly is that what is- is that what's going on? Is that why I was super confused? The exorcism is just- it just doubles whatever you got here. So we just made a lot of- like, there's no reason why you wouldn't exercise your ghost because it's so fast. But again, what do we even care about now? Nothing. Nothing. We don't care about buying anything else. Oh, it materialized? Oh, we're taking damage. It's aggressive. It materialized. There were cold spots. And... I don't think I really got anything on my... Oh, I heard the EMF. We got on the spirit box. We got on the spooky box. Yes. It's definitely aggressive. There's... I hear... I hear footsteps. I, okay, well, this is problems. I don't really have a lot of places to run. I mean, that's, that's it. So it has to be a wraith? 
annoy the ghost some more? What? Why is that a step that I have to do? Yeah, like I can hear the footsteps. Why do I have to annoy? I'm done. I've annoyed the ghost. Oh, I'm super tired of this. Why? Can't I just exercise it? We know what it is. Like I've literally already identified it. Boom! Get fucking exercise, you piece of garbage! I don't know why I had to just sit there with the goat. Like, you have to just sit there staring at it? Exercised. It was a wraith. So another... <laughs> another big problem that I'm realizing with this game is... Is that... It seems like not a ton of this evidence overlaps. And so... Like, right when we walked in, we saw it materialize, we knew it was aggressive, and we knew we had cold spots. And so, like, it just seems like there's very few of these combinations that are actually... Oh, no, that's just back on. And so, like, once you get enough of these, you can just, like, almost process of elimination start doing this, because we got so many so quickly. I don't, I don't know. It's real, it's real weird. It was a wraith. Like, there isn't a good guess? Is that because we didn't even... We hadn't actually identified the, the ghost yet, or we hadn't actually gotten EMF 5 and we just guessed it? I've been correct 10 out of 11 times only because, wait, next reward is 6,000? Hold on, there is something we can earn. Do I dare bother doing this right now? I can't. Like, yes, we get a reward at 6,000, but I just, this game isn't, it's not fun. I did it. And I don't feel like going all the way to 6,000 is going to give me anything that's going to change the way that this game actually plays. So let me just wrap, let me just wrap this up because I'm not going to get to 6,000. So here's, here's the, here's the lowdown. There's, there's no progression. There's nothing that you're really working towards besides some random 6,000 reward. But it doesn't matter what they add. It's not going to change the way that you play the game because they've structured it in such a way that you walk into a place for two seconds, walk around for a second. You're like, oh, well, all the evidence types are immediately here. And like, look how quickly, you know, it was, I heard it step and I saw a shadow. Boom, you're done. You collect the bones, exercise it, get extra points. It's like they, it's like if they read about what kind of game Phasmophobia was without ever actually playing it. And then they were like, I'm going to cash in on that and make my own pixel based game of that. That's what they did. They just like read about it or they looked at a child's drawing of what Phasmophobia was. And they're like, oh, I can do that. And this is like such a not fun version of that. There would be no reason for me to keep playing this after right now because I've done it. I bought the stuff that they had in the shop. I, I know how ghosts work. It's the same models. You get all the evidence right away. There's no real investigating. I don't know. I don't, I couldn't recommend that anyone spend the $5 on this because there's no, and there's no multiplayer. There's no multiplayer. So there's just, yeah, this is going to have to be a hard pass for me. I was actually very excited about this. I thought it would offer more, but it's it's just not nearly enough. It's just very it's it's very silly in its in its offerings. And I and it started strong. It seemed like it would be a great game and then let me down. Let me down. Anyway, that's it. I'd love to know what you guys think as always in the comments down below. You know, I enjoy talking to you guys about games. And until next time, burn bright everybody.